So I'm at the airport right now getting ready to ship out to basic training. So I had my MEPS shipping day today and I wanted to kind of go over it really quick so you all know what to expect from the shipping day at MEPS. So first thing, you're gonna wake up about four o'clock and you have to be down in the lobby about 4.30. You ready to go join the Air Force today? I suppose. <laughs> She's not awake yet. I'm, I'm like, let's go. We slept like zero last night. We were, yeah, it was not good. And then you were going to eat breakfast. Breakfast at MEPS is usually not very good, my personal opinion. All right, I will say this breakfast is better than like the eggs and biscuit and everything. I'm gonna get some yogurt. The next thing is you will get on the shuttle and they will send you over to MEPS. All right, up the MEPS steps. So you'll go through security. Excited? Tired, ready to get on the bus and sleep. After that, you go directly to your liaison for your branch to check in. After that, you'll go to the briefing room for a quick overview briefing of the day, and then you will go directly to medical. Now, ladies will have to go pee in a cup again. This time it is unsupervised, but this is just for a pregnancy test, so guys do not have to do this part again. But after that, the ladies will go to the medical room, the guys will go to their medical room, you get down to your underwear again, and the doctor is going to do a super quick check over your body and make sure you have no new cuts, scrapes, scars, bruises, anything like that. And they will also check your height and weight. Super quick process this time, thankfully. And then you will get dressed and you will go into a private room with the doctor to have your doctor interview. The doctor will ask you a few basic questions, just making sure nothing has changed since your last visit. So making sure nothing has changed medically, you've had no new law violations, no new tattoos. If you do, you wanna make sure that your recruiter knew that before and you need to write it down on your tattoo form because it does have to be documented. Um, so just a few things you wanna make sure, like you're not taking any new medications because things like that can hinder you from being able to ship out that day. Now, I almost had a heart attack during all of this process because something happened that made me almost not be able to ship out, but that is gonna be a story for another day. So I'm just gonna continue on, but you definitely wanna stay tuned for that because I was, I was not happy, I was about to freak out. So once you have passed all that and you did the medical eval, you did the interview, you have passed the medical part, that is really the hard part, and then you are good to go back out of the medical wing and check back in with your branch liaison. Now at this point, you are gonna do a lot of back and forth. You're gonna go to your branch liaison and go over your contract, and you're gonna go back with a just a general MEPS person. I don't know their title, but then they're gonna go over your contract again the one you just went over with your branch liaison. So then you'll go over that with the MEPS person, then you'll go back to your Air Force person and go over it again. And after that, you are just gonna wait around until it is time to go swear in. Attention! Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your full name. I state your full name. Please state your full name. The uniform code of military justice. The uniform code of military justice. So help me God. So help me God. Now, if you're active duty, this is going to be your official Air Force swear-in. After the swear-in, you go to the lunchroom and they give you like a bagged lunch. So I had a ham sandwich and some chips and cookies and a drink. When you're done with that, they will have all of the shippers go into the briefing room again. You will turn in the name tags that you've been wearing all day. Then they will give you your meal voucher and your plane info. Then you just wait for the shuttle to get there. You go outside. Once the shuttle gets there, you load up on the shuttle and you head to the airport, which is the point that I am at right now. I am waiting for time to load on the plane. I'm going to fly out of Nashville to Houston, have a super quick layover. Hopefully I don't miss my next flight because it's literally only like 35 minutes. Everyone's flight information is going to be completely different depending on where you ship out from. So I'm just waiting for my flight. Um, to San Antonio, Texas to start basic training. All right guys, right down these escalators, our journey starts. So this is the end of the road for me today and I will see you guys after basic training.